Even in small quantities, water always holds surprises. Streams, gullies, and brooks may seem like the poor relatives of the mighty rivers. However, their small doses of water are seething with intense and vibrant life. Small watercourses slide down hillsides and valleys, bring moisture to woodlands and mountains, and penetrate the plains. Despite the brooks and gullies' humble appearance, they are independent ecosystems in their own right. Their discrete volume of water is more than enough to seduce a considerable variety of plants and animals. In warm or temperate regions, stream serves a refuge for aquatic creatures used to resisting plunges in the water level, the lack of oxygen, and the high temperatures. Before delivering their water to larger rivers, streams in and of themselves make up a peculiar ecosystem. Even in tropical regions where water is more abundant, brooks are a favorite refuge for a great variety of fauna. They are home to a sly and stealthy animal. The raccoon knows this territory very well. In fact, it uses the brook as a transportation route. Brooks are its roads. Raccoons spend most of their day inside the brook, where they find most of their food. This masked carnivore is very skillful and has an extremely delicate and well-developed sense of touch. It uses its paws to inspect and examine every corner of the stream, looking for shrimp, crab, and fish. Nothing is beyond its reach. When it finds a snack, the raccoon wets it several times before biting it. However, this washing has less to do with hygiene than with the raccoon's lack of saliva. The raccoon substitutes the saliva it lacks with the water it uses to moisten each bite. This is the powerful reason why raccoons always choose to live near water. And what better place than this stream, where it's always easy to find and catch something to eat. The raccoon is tied to the stream because it needs water in order to swallow its food. But most other animals come here to quench their thirst.
varied and heterogeneous fauna are also attracted to small watercourses. The relationship between these animals and the water running in the brooks is intense. The Iberian frog is a captive of mountain streams. This evasive loner lives only in the fresh water upstream, where there is less volume of water. There it hides in the moist moss and waits for the numerous insects swarming around the bank to come by. In the stream, Everything it needs is provided within reach. Their coolness and moisture make streams a prolific environment. Quite often, a thicket of bushes and plants surrounds and covers the watercourse and serves to protect a multitude of birds who feel safe inside. Some will spend the first days of their lives there, well protected above the brook. Small predators also find a perfect setting for their forays here. Hunters and prey live immersed in the moist, lush labyrinth of vegetation surrounding the water. The wildcat scouts its territory just before dusk, knowing full well that there are plenty of rodents. There is a strong trail of mice in the humus and earth on the banks. It's only a matter of waiting for the right chance. The bustling activity on the banks merely foreshadows the vitality inside the fresh and restless watercourse itself. During the springtime, the fish swim upstream to deposit their eggs in the cleanest and freshest areas. The streams of the Mediterranean basin are more than used to hard times.
when low water levels drastically reduce the volume of water. During these periods, the fish in the streams are capable of surviving the high temperatures inside the water, which is barely renewed, as well as the lack of oxygen, which makes survival more difficult for delicate fish. The fish community in these streams often finds refuge in pools that never dry out. Once there, they mingle with tadpoles and other aquatic creatures until the autumn rains arrive. Some species have adapted so well to these aquatic ecosystems that they live only in the fluctuating brooks of the Mediterranean basin. The stream's ability to generate and contain life is a powerful magnet for fish-eating birds. The black stork regularly visits more tranquil watercourses. During the summer, fish and tadpoles seek refuge in larger pools. This is the best time to catch them. Streams in areas with temperate climates thus become a trap for the thousands of fish left at the mercy of their enemies. A little patience is all it takes. Just dip your beak in and feel around until you find one. The kingfisher is a lot more selective when it comes to fishing. It weighs a hundred times less than the black stork, but as a predator, it is undoubtedly efficient. The kingfisher is a highly successful sniper, whose daily menu includes about 65% fish. In order to catch its prey, it sits on the branches that hang over the stream and carefully observes before choosing the right moment and victim. Its diet includes insects, tadpoles, and even crayfish, as well as fish. Whatever it can't digest, it eliminates by forming compact balls that it expels soon after.
In their narrow courses, streams also have room for amphibious animals. There are all sorts. The polecat is one small carnivore that often visits its banks. Its webbed front and back paws help prevent it from sinking into the mud. Even though they live by the water, polecats do not enjoy swimming. They sniff around the rocks and tree trunks, following the trails left by small animals. The frogs and toads living on the banks are some of their most common victims. There are also other mammals here besides these hunters. Water rats are a prime example of a rodent that's adjusted to life in the streams. They are such extraordinary swimmers that they dig their burrows near the shore so they can jump right into the water. The bank offers them plenty of food, from fresh grasses to whatever fruits in season. Water rats are very demanding as far as water quality and plant cover. They always live in unpolluted waters where the plants on the shore are in good shape. Reptiles also have their place and it's very important. Water snakes are veritable amphibious serpents that live near the watercourses, which is where they catch most of their food. These reptiles dive and swim perfectly and are capable of catching even the fastest and most slippery fish. snakes are a very important link in the stream's food chain, and they play a vital role as one of its great predators. Aside from fish and tadpoles, they sometimes also capture large frogs, which they swallow with considerable difficulty. To gulp down this tasty banquet, they must first dislocate their jaws and perform painstaking movements over the victim's body. All this effort is worthwhile, because after eating just one large frog, it can live for several days without having to hunt.
after a month, during the first days of summer, little freshwater turtles are born in the sand near the banks. Their first races lead them straight into the water, where they can hide and find something to eat. The European freshwater turtle lives in quiet pools of water. It feels more comfortable there than in the mighty rivers. In addition to the tranquil water, the streams provide plenty of plant cover. In fact, under ideal circumstances, the freshwater turtle population can be quite large. These peace-loving reptiles are great opportunists. They take advantage of every occasion. <laughs> 